and welcome to part 4 of my Skyrim modding creation kit tutorial series, How to Make a Follower Mod Like Lucian Flavius. Now in the first few parts we created an NPC, set him up on a custom follower framework, gave him a voice, and now we're going to teach him how to say hello. So we're talking about greeting dialogue, that's the first line an NPC says when you engage them in conversation. I am here for you. How are you doing my friend? <laughs> totally, totally. It's a great opportunity to really flesh out your character with randomised lines conditioned on factors like time of day, current location, currently active quests, and I'm going to show you how to set it all up. Now to start with, open up your mod in the creation kit, check that show only active forms box, and select quest from the menu on the left. Then find your follower quest and double click on it to open it. Then go over to the misc tab at the top, right click in this box here, and select new topic. Then you get a list of all the different topics which uh, come up under MISC and you're going to select Hello and press OK. Now you've got to give it a topic ID. I'm just going to call this JR12 Jacuzzi Follower Hello. Press OK there and now we have our empty stack. So in here are going to go all the different lines our follower could say when you engage them in conversation. To start off we're going to right click in there and select New. I'm going to go with something basic like, hello there. And I'm going to hit OK on that. Now, in the topic info box here, we have a bunch of boxes that we can check. And the most important one for hello lines is this box, the random box. So if you select that, then every line in this stack that has the random flag selected is going to form a random stack so that when you engage your NPC in conversation, it'll randomly select one of those lines from the list for them to say, which will add some nice variety there. Now this is a pretty basic line that'll apply in pretty much any situation, so we're not going to set many conditions on it, but one thing I would like our follower to be able to do is to whisper when sneaking. So therefore we need to condition this line to not play if the NPC is currently sneaking. So you can do that by right clicking in the conditions box, selecting new, and clicking here where it currently says get his ID, and we're going to type in is sneaking, and you can see it comes up there, so when it comes up you can just click on it to finish off. And that's going to say equals zero. So this condition means this line will only play if Jacuzzi is not sneaking. We're going to add another variant in a minute, for the line version when he is sneaking, which will be a whispered version of this line. Now, a very important note about the is sneaking condition. It's essential that this is not the first condition in a condition stack on any lines of dialogue, because there are things in the game called talking activators, which are objects that can talk. So examples in the game of that are the Augur of Dunlane and the Statue of Clavicus Vile. Now, both of these are objects that can talk, but cannot sneak. So if the game tries to evaluate the is sneaking condition on an object that cannot sneak, it results in a crash, a CTD, and you don't want that. So the way we get around that is to make sure that there's always a condition which is evaluated first before your is sneaking condition. And in this quest, we've done that in the quest data tab. Conditions in the quest data tab apply to all lines of dialogue contained within that quest. So this get is ID condition in quest data will mean that the only characters that have the is sneaking condition applied to them by this quest are characters that first pass the get is ID check, which is only jacuzzi. So that rules out all the talking activators first before it even gets to is sneaking and will prevent us getting any of those nasty crashes. Now we want our NPC to have more lines than just hello there, so we're going to right click on our line and select copy. Copying a line like that can save you a lot of time when you have a big condition stack that you want to apply to lots of lines in a row, and it also duplicates any scripts you have attached to the line as well, which can be very handy. We're going to go into our new copied line here, Double click where it says hello there, and now we can change the text. So this one I'm going to say, greetings. And press OK. And we'll duplicate it one more time. And this one, we're going to say, good morning. Now the particularly quick-witted among you will notice that good morning is something you should only say in the morning. So we're going to have to add an extra condition for that. So go down to that condition box again, right click, select new, and we're going to say get current time, 
and I'm going to say less than, and we're going to say less than 12 there, and press OK. So that means this line is only ever valid when the time is less than 12 o'clock, which is morning. Now another thing about good morning is that it tends to be something you only say once to a person per morning, so we can do that by adding a little cooldown. Head on over to this hours until reset box, and let's change that to 12. Now that means that this line will only be available once every 12 in-game hours. So that'll mean Jacuzzi will only say this line once per morning. Now we're going to add a slightly less generic line of dialogue. So once again I'm going to right click here, select copy, and this time I'm going to type in Jacuzzi is feeling bubbly today. And this is a joke, I'm going to give this a little bit of happy. Happy 50 should be sensible. Press OK there. Now this line, while hopefully at least vaguely amusing, has the potential to get incredibly annoying incredibly quickly. So we're going to do some things to reduce how often it plays. First up, we're going to change that hours until reset to 24, which is the highest this will go. Unfortunately, you can't set it to any more than that, so that just means this will play at most once every in-game day. However, that's still too repetitive. So to reduce the chance even further, we're going to add a get random percent. Now get random percent is the most useful condition that exists in the creation kit because this is what's going to make your follower be less annoying and more immersive. Now get random percent returns a random whole number between 0 and 99. So if we want a 30% chance for this line to play, then we say get random percent less than 30. Now that's less than and not less than or equal to because the numbers go from 0 to 99. So the first possible number is 0. Now best practice is to put your get random percents as the final condition in your condition stack to save processing power needlessly evaluating your get random percent if one of your other conditions would mean the line still isn't valid. We can do that using these buttons or the arrow keys to move it down. So now what'll happen is when the player goes up and talks to Jacuzzi, the game will go through each of these four lines in turn, evaluating their condition stacks. Now for Jacuzzi is feeling bubbly today, the game will first check the current time. Is it less than 12? Yes, it is. Then it'll move on to, is Jacuzzi currently sneaking? No, he isn't. So then it'll finally move to get random percent less than 30, which will mean if it passes these two stages, there's a 30% chance that a line will still go ahead and play. The game then looks at each of these lines that passed its condition checks and picks one randomly from what's left. So effectively what we've done there is reduce the chance of Jacuzzi is feeling bubbly today being in the dialogue pool to be randomly selected at all down to 30%. Now the final thing we want here is a couple of whispered lines to use when sneaking. So I'm going to go back to one of my super generic lines, right click on it, say copy. I'm going to move this down to the bottom using the arrow keys because I like to keep all my sneaking lines together at the bottom of the stack. Open it up and we're going to change the is sneaking condition to 1. Now it's worth mentioning here that all of these conditions we've been evaluating on the subject, which is the speaker, in this case Jacuzzi. However, we could also choose the player in order to check whether the player is currently sneaking, or we could select reference that would then allow us to pick any reference in the game world, or we could say combat target, which is the NPC that Jacuzzi is currently fighting, or you could say quest alias. However, we're just going to stick with subject. Now I'm going to add one more whispered sneaking variant, which is going to be our final line for today. And then, because this is the final line in my random stack, it's best practice for me to check the random end box, just to tell the creation kit that, okay, the random stack is finished. I'm going to go and record all these now, and then we can test them out in game. So here we are in game. Here's our chap. Greetings. Greetings. Hello there. Hello. Follow me. This one will follow gladly. See if we can get him to stand up. Come on, mate. Up you get. Ignore the sword clipping through the bench. It's fine. It's an intentional feature. Here we go. Right. Hello there. And it is, in fact, morning. So, with a bit of luck and a bit of spamming, he should say his line. Good morning. There we go. And now I'm going to spam him a whole bunch of times to see if I can get him to say his line about being bubbly. 
Hello there. Jacuzzi is feeling bubbly today. And I got it on the second try. Marvelous. Right, now let's try the sneaking lines. Yes. There's one. Greetings. There we go. So I'm pretty happy with that. So that brings us to the end for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please do like and subscribe and all that jazz. And follow me on Twitch. I stream uh, modding workshops every Thursday at 5 p.m. UK time. And if you've got any questions about this sort of thing, feel free to drop in then and ask me live. It's probably the best way to get in touch with me. Anyway, I will see you next time where we're going to be diving into the wonderful world of idle dialogue. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.